Okay, guys, so here's the area, 8 by 10. It's a little bigger than that, but I'm going to use 8 by 10 of this area. Create um, a um, patio, same as this walkway, using the walk maker. And this time I'm a little smarter. I have, I've rented a, a um, cement mixer because that's the longest part of this job. Um, I have a mixer, a, my bucket, and my shovel, and my wheelbarrow. I went ahead and got five quarts bucket so I can measure exact water and, and it's some color. And so have my trials and ready to go. Um, hopefully it doesn't take me as long as it did before with this path. It took me seven hours, eight stones, but that was because I did it manually, the cement. But I have two path makers modes and I have my helper, my son is here. He's gonna help me. He'll mix the concrete while I set the stones in place. So here's the final project completed, the patio. It's not exactly as even as I wanted it to be, but it's okay, I'm gonna live with it. Did leave this spot here for a fire pit that um, I'll do um, hopefully, if it doesn't rain, I'll get to it. If not, we'll get to it before the, you know, the beginning of spring or, well, summer. <laughs> um, I bought this little insert, 28-inch insert from Walmart. Cost 30 bucks. Um, I'll get some stones from Lowe's and we'll create a fire pit. And as you see, we have this ledge here, so we already have some sort of seating, but I'll get a couple of chairs and it'll complete the project. Thanks for watching. Oh, the hammock is up. All right, we're getting ready for the summer. Thanks for watching. guys I just went to Walmart bought some bricks to create that fire pit on my patio and the bricks have a little edge on it and all I did was take a chisel and a hammer knocked off that corner edge stacked the bricks around Add some fire rocks in there. And like I said, I just purchased this insert from Walmart, already put together, and set it on top, and voila, a fire pit. <laughs>